Hello friends, this video on gravitation part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 17 before going ahead with part 18. Now study what are geostationary satellites. Because when we are studying things about planetary motion when we discuss satellites, it becomes very important to know at least what is a geostationary satellite. As the name suggests, geostationary, that is geo plus stationary. Stationary means something at rest and geo means earth. That means something which appears to be at rest from earth is geostationary. So a geostationary satellite is a satellite orbiting around the earth in equatorial plane with time period equal to 24 hours. That means these are the satellites which revolve around the earth with a time period of 24 hours. They appear to be stationary with respect to the earth. Why so? Because even earth rotates about its or earth revolves about its own axis with a time period of 24 hours. Now this satellite also rotates around the earth with a time period of 24 hours. Since both are rotating at the same pace, therefore it appears for something within the earth that this satellite is stationary, however it is moving, just because both of them are moving with the same time period. These satellites can receive telecommunication signals and broadcast them back to a wide area on earth. So this is the purpose why these, sat these kind of satellites are used. That is geostationary satellites mostly for telecommunication signals. Example is inset group of satellites. These are the group of satellites which are geostationary. That is they are made to orbit around the earth with a time period of 24 hours. Now we'll see another class of satellites that is polar satellites. What are polar satellites? They are low altitude satellites. That means these satellites revolve or uh, orbit around the earth at lower heights. That is low alti altitude satellites. They orbit around the earth in north to south direction. Now normally in what direction earth moves? Earth moves from east to west, right? See if you see earth moves from east to west. Now when you talk of a satellite which is a polar satellite it moves in this fashion that means it moves in this fashion somewhat like this if I draw it in figure it would be something like this so it will be traveling from north to south whereas the earth will be moving from east to west so in these kind of satellites how they are utilized is a camera is fixed above um, above such a kind of a satellite can view only small strips of earth in one orbit because see when this satellite is moving in this way so a camera which is fixed on this satellite can only view this strip of the earth right suppose a camera is fixed so it will be able to view only this portion of the earth now again but since the earth also keeps mo moving therefore at each time different strips of the earth will keep getting viewed Right? So at one time only one strip of earth is viewed. So adjacent strips are viewed in subsequent orbits. So these satellites are useful for remote sensing, meteorology and environmental studies of earth. So these were the two types of satellites, geostationary and polar satellites. Now we'll discuss a term called weightlessness. What do you mean by weightlessness? When I talk of weightlessness, I mean it is the condition that exists for a body when there is no force of support on the body. That means it is a, a condition in which the body does not feel its weight at all. I'll give you some practical scenarios when we can feel the weight of a body. For example, if you are even if you are not doing anything, you are simply standing on the ground, you can feel the weight of your body, right? But there are certain conditions when you do not feel the weight at all. For example, during a free fall from a say two-story building, if you are falling down, or if any of you have ever tried bungee jumping, in during that period, you will not feel your weight. You will feel as if you don't have any weight at all. So that condition is known as weightlessness. 
when there is no force of support on the body you don't have any force around you which is supporting you you are under a condition of free fall here you can see in this case the apple when it falls down the tree when it is falling down towards the ground this is a state of free fall so it is under a state of weightlessness right now we will relate this term so any free fall of an object is an example of weightlessness now we will relate weightlessness to the orbital motion of satellites how is weightlessness related to the motion of the satellites now in case of a satellite let us suppose this is the earth and this is a satellite which is revolve which is rotating around the earth so what happens in this case there is one acceleration there is an acceleration which acts towards the center of the earth right what is that acceleration there is one acceleration which is called centripetal acceleration which is acting towards the center of the earth right at the same time there is one acceleration which is earth's acceleration due to gravity which is balancing this centripetal acceleration that means which is these two accelerations are equal in magnitude and they are balancing each other so if you consider of a situation inside the satellite so inside the satellite everything is in a state of free fall because there is no acceleration at all so when there is no acceleration at all that means whatever movement is taking place is under uniform velocity therefore you can say that inside a satellite weightlessness is experienced so inside an orbiting satellite weightlessness is experienced weightlessness is experienced why because there is one acceleration that is centripetal acceleration towards the center of the earth at the same time there is earth's acceleration due to gravity which is outward from the center of the earth and these two being equal and opposite cancel out each other so inside the satellite everything is in a state of free fall <clears throat> now that we have discussed almost all the topics related to gravitation at the while before ending the chapter we will look at one or two numericals just to get a feel of the entire chapter thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again